right, so let's solve x squared equals 9. Um, in gray, I've written root x squared equals plus or minus root 9. And then um, the left side simplifies to x, and the right side copying the plus or minus sign, the, the root 9 simplifies to 3. Um, the step in gray can be skipped, all right? So if in this case you had a one-line answer based on the problem, it's just x equals plus or minus 3, that looks good. However, when looking back through all the lines of your, your work, there may not be a step that says root x squared equals root 9. Um, that would be missing a plus or minus sign. Uh, to comment on this again, the very first step in which you square root both sides must have a plus or minus sign. Let's solve x squared equals 7. So uh, root x squared equals plus or minus root 7. Um, again, simplifying the left side, you get, you get just an x. Uh, this time around, the right side just doesn't simplify any further, um, and it deals with the fact that in the previous question, 9 is a perfect square, and in this question, 7 is not a perfect square. All right, so uh, root 9 simplified further, root 7 doesn't simplify further. Okay, we'll solve u squared is equal to 13. Now the variable is called u, but we'll square root both sides. Don't forget the plus or minus sign, and then simplify the left side. The, the square root and the square and, and the the square cancel out. We just have a u, so u is equal to plus or minus root 13. Okay, let's solve x plus 3 quantity squared equals 5. Now, um, we're going to take this in a perhaps slightly unusual approach, and you might not do this kind of thing all the time in the future, but I'd like to introduce a uh, technique. It's a little bookkeeping device that tends to help out a little bit. Uh, what I'd like to do is replace every time we see an x plus 3, now I, I get that it only appears once, but it, replace x plus 3 with a u. And then what you'd have is u squared is equal to 5. Now let's solve for u. right? So square root both sides, don't forget a plus or minus sign. So you have root u squared is equal to plus or minus root 5. On the left side, the root and the square undo each other, you're left with u. The right side doesn't simplify at all, so we'll just leave it as it is, plus or minus root 5. So u equals plus or minus root 5. Now that we have solved for u, what we're going to do is now replace u with x plus 3. Earlier, we had replaced x plus 3 with a u. Now we're just replacing back the other way. Replace the u with an x plus 3. So this u here now becomes x plus 3. And then copy the equal sign, copy the plus and minus root 5. Now to solve for x, we just need to subtract 3 on both sides. So I, I chose to write the minus 3 in front. So this is x equals negative 3 plus or minus root 5. Um, let's, say, let's say this, replacing the x plus 3 with a u, then solving for u, then replacing in reverse u with the x plus 3 is helpful. Um, maybe for this question it was a little much, but you'll, you'll see in the future we're going to need this kind of thing. So we're, we're just previewing this right now. In a problem that's this small, you could, if you feel comfortable, jump directly from x plus 3 quantity squared equals 5 to the following. You square root both sides. You have root x plus 3 quantity squared equals plus or minus root 5, if you're comfortable. But later, this technique with using this u will be helpful because it'll allow us to focus on just one thing at a time.